His model farm at Chert proves that Mr. Lloyd George, had he not won fame as a politician, would have been in the first rank of farmers. He is now directing his energy to fruit cultivation, and after showing with great pride his prize apples, the ex-prime minister is to address his farmer neighbours. I'm addressing you, not as an ex-prime minister, and certainly not as a politician, but as a registered potato grower. <laughs> well now, I dislike doing or saying anything that would even appear to be criticizing our Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Elliot. He's a great personal friend of mine. He's showing more courage than the whole of them put together. <laughs> <laughs> He's not waiting for a, a Belisha beacon before crossing the road. <laughs> I, I, I trust him all the more because he had nothing to do with that Ottawa agreement. A lot of them went over there. They met very much sharper people than themselves. <laughs> People who knew something about their job. <laughs> <laughs> and they came back plucked as clean as those green geese I've got in that shed there. <laughs> we are buying in this country now at these low prices over 200 million worth of stuff that this soil is capable of producing. And it's idle to talk about the perils of uh, overproduction when you're underproducing to the extent of 200 million out of your own land. The uncultivated land ought to be put into a condition where whatever emergency comes, whatever befalls this country, at any rate, we can't be starved into defeat by any enemy whoever he is and wherever he comes from.